Okay, we're going to start uh, by using our idea of a word ratio, a known ratio, and an unknown ratio to go back and look in our book. And I would like you guys to be on page 13 where you'll see this image here. We're looking here at a wooden frame for a roof. That's a sketch here. The structure of the roof is symmetrical, meaning both sides are the same. We're going to write a proportion that we can use to find the missing length. And here's our missing length right here. So what do we know? We know that this large triangle is proportional to this small triangle. So we're going to call this measurement down here the base and this measurement here the height. So our word known unknown ratio. We're going to have base over height. What do we know? We know that with the large triangle it has a base of 5 and it has a height of 4. Our unknown ratio, we don't know the height. That's where we're going to put our variable. But we know, because this small triangle is the same as this small triangle, that the base is 2. So we would cross multiply, showing 2 times 4 is equal to 5 times x. 2 times 4 is 8. And we're going to end up getting a decimal from this. We would divide 8 by 5, and that would give us our missing measurement, which we would need to label as well in feet. And I'll let you calculate that on your own. It's saying how long is the missing length? Well, that's really just asking us what is our answer and describe how we found our answer. Well, we set up a proportion using our word ratio, our known ratio, our unknown ratio, and cross-multiplied. I'd like you to use that same idea on page 15. Let's go ahead and start this together. To make a particular shade of green, you need to mix a blue and yellow paint in the ratio of one part blue to one part yellow. So we've got one part blue, one part yellow to make our, the shade of green we're looking for. So if we're going to have a one gallon or eight pint container and it's blue to yellow, we get one over one. To make this whole ratio here equal 8, we're going to end up with 4 and 4. And you can cross multiply. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 4 is 4, so that's equivalent. Why am I using 4 and 4? Because it's asked us for 8, and we need this plus this to equal 8, because that's what we're putting into our paint. If we move down to number 2, because I'm going to just skip this. What scale factor? Well, we have a scale factor of 4 because we multiplied by 4, right? So if we move down here, we've got one part blue to two parts red. That's our known. We have blue to red. I'm sorry, not our known. That's our word. Our known is one blue to two red. We have four pints of red. That would be where we're getting to our unknown because it's asking here how many pints of blue. That means this is going to be our unknown and we know that we have four here. So again, you could probably just look at this and figure it out, but we're going to cross multiply. One times four is equal to two x. Four equals two x. If we divide by two, we end up with x equals two pints of blue. 
Go ahead and use that information and try to set up a word ratio, a known ratio, and an unknown ratio for 2B.